Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a Gen X mom and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. And today we are watching Lovely Runner episode two. And um, I really liked episode one. It was very cute. The guy is adorable. And um, the girl is really cute too. Like she's very bubbly and very energetic. And given that what happened to her, and I'm, I still don't know what the accident was or whatever, like she's got a great outlook on life. She's very optimistic. She's got a lot of energy. And so like, yeah, she's obsessed with Eclipse, which is kind of funny. But this guy, like Sanjay, like I'm just kind of really curious. Like I feel so bad for him. He obviously killed himself, but we went back in time to when he was alive in high school. And I think her mission is to save him and to save her so that she doesn't end up in a wheelchair, but to also save him as well. My question is if she plays with the timeline so that maybe she takes away his, the pressure or whatever is the cause of kind of his, um, I don't know, uh, his mental health, right? Um, does that change his future? Is he still a singer? Is he still so popular with Eclipse? Does he turn to music if there's no, not drama, but like no issues with swimming? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I think there's a lot of things that could go wrong and I, I don't know what's going to happen. So, um, but I'm looking forward to this episode. I really want to know more about this accident. I really want to know more about Sanjay and his mental health. Um, and I really want to know more about like her mother's being very cagey about this guy who saved her. And so was her best friend. Like, she, like, um, Soul liked a guy or was fangirling on a guy and he got expelled. Sounds like for a fight from another school. Maybe he knew who was the cause of the accident, like Soul's accident, and he went after them. Like maybe like who is this guy? Like we don't know. So I'm very curious. There's a lot of different things and plot points that I don't have the answers for. So I'm going to be asking a lot of questions until my curiosity is is satisfied so anyway so let's get started on episode two in three two one look at that he's such a gentleman past and future is she gonna tell him that he dies is she gonna tell him the truth what is she gonna do yeah exactly that's a good question what are you gonna say exactly yeah, seriously. We think this strategy, girly. <laughs> She's not doing a very good job. Eclipse. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's his umbrella, dude. Mm -hmm. Seriously, girl. <laughs> She's acting like a crazy person. Hyunjo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot everything from high school too. If I were was asked to solve a math problem, I'd be like, uh, I don't know. 
인연이 미쳤나 어디 겁배가 어디 없이... 버르장머리 없이 뭐 인연? 어린 놈의 새끼가 누님한테 <웃음> 어디서 봤는데? 또? 아, oh, is he in a rock band? <laughs> she has a type, doesn't she? <laughs> oh my gosh. 내첫 독질 상대이자 내 과거의 최. 근데 또 이름이 뭐더라? 그 맞다 김태수. 오, 웬일이야 진짜 반갑다. 야, 이게 얼마만이야? 아니 너 어제 고사 때 정신 못 차리고 쫓아댕겼었는데. <laughs> 아니 그때 세상 멋있더니 지금 보니까 천시럽다 천시럽. <웃음> 수다리가 얼마나 속상하겠냐? 어? 우리 주인 막 산다고. 아니야. 나 담배 놓고 형 여름에 목이향도 안 피워. 뭐 힘들 때 술은 좀 마셔도 담배. <웃음> Boy, oh boy, I don't know how you're gonna get close to this guy. Damn, he's running after the bus, really? Stop! 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 담배 피는 사람은 요 손에도 냄새가 뱀대. 맡아봐. That's weird. <웃음> 봐. 응? 안 나지? <웃음> What the hell? Oh my god. 그래. 안 나네. No, oh my gosh. Girly? 어깨 수술 받고 나서 다시 복귀하는 첫 경기 날이었는데요. 그 경기가 결국 제 마지막 경기가 됐어요. So he's recovering from surgery. 선재야. 하도 이번 대회 나가면 안 돼. 왜? 너그 대회 나가면 또 부상 당해. 다신 수영 못 하게 돼. 그러니까 나가면 안 돼. What the heck is wrong? 왜안 되냐고? 못 들었어? 방금 내가 한 말? 아니, 무슨 말? 또 어깨 다친다고. Every time she tries to change the past, it's not gonna work. 잠깐만. 이번 대회 나가면 선수 생활 끝이야. 잠깐 이거 좀 봐. She can't change the past. Oh shit. 도대체 뭘 보라고? Does that mean she can't change the accident? Her accident? That sucks. <웃음> Oh my gosh. So there's limitations to this superpower time travel thing. 그땐 제 욕심에 너무 무리했나 후회도 했는데 어쩌면 가수가 될 운명이어서. That's what I was talking about before. 넌 죽지 않고 살았을지도 몰라. 수살기! 억울하게 물에 빠져 죽은 천여 귀신이 다 들러붙어 있네. He's gonna find out. 당분간 물을 멀리해야 해. 딱 사흘이면 돼. <웃음> He's not gonna listen to her. 학생 책을 빼야 좀 있지. No. 왼쪽 발바닥에 흉터도 있다는 디. Okay, now she's spooking him. <웃음> 뭐야? Ah, she got found out. <웃음> Oops. 나 놀리냐? 넌 이게 재밌어? Now it's gonna be even madder. 
새끼 전날 입은 수영복으로 경기해야 메달 따는 징크스 있잖아. 그래서 꼭 하루 전에 경기용 수영복 입고 연습하고. 없어지면 겁나 당황하겠지. 손모 같이 잘리고 싶어? 놔라. He's gonna catch her again. Well, put it down and run, girl! 이제 하다 하다 수영복까지 훔치냐? 아니, 이건 내가 훔친 게 아니라... 왜? 너 진짜 나한테 왜 이러는 건데? 걱정돼서 그랬어. 네가 경기장에서 많이 다치는 꿈을 꿨는데 진짜 같이 생생했어. 그래서 정말 그 일이 일어날 것 같고 불안하고 걱정돼서... 네가 내 걱정을 왜 하냐? 지켜주고 싶으니까. 왜? 야, 내가 죽기라도 해? 어, 맞아. 너 죽어 죽는다고. 아, 너무 세일이네. 세상에서 나만 하는데 말해줄 수도 없어. 그래도 널 지키고 싶으니까 살려야 되니까 뭐라도 해보는 거야. 이상하지 않냐? 갑자기 생판 모르도 난 찾아서 팬이라고 하지 않나? 야, 그러더니 갑자기 대리 나가지 말라고. 고작 꿈 때문에. 야, 내가 왜 이만 해 주야 되는데? He's got a point. 형구 만났냐? 뭐? 그 자식이 너한방 먹이겠다고 수영장 갔다던데. 그 자식이 왔었다고? 그래, 네 수영복 훔치겠다고. <웃음> mhm, mm you were wrong about her. <웃음> Don't get run over. Can she die in the past? Why did she start walking in the middle of the street? Is this the accident? No. No, I fell. Why am I being so slow? Did he just prevent her accident? Yeah. So he's seen her. 쓰고 가시고 밤에 아무 때나 여기 가게 앞에 우산통에 넣어주세요. 실은 죄송해서 드리는 거예요. 다음 건좀 무겁거든요. 제가 중고책을 잔뜩 사가지고. 아 그리고 이거 드시고 안녕히 가세요. She thought he was a delivery guy. And that's why he likes that candy. Oh. Oh, I see. 류명 불러주세요. 근덕 류 근덕이요. Hurt his dad's name. Then he's all embarrassed. 우리 일촌 하자. 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
you know, she she's going about it in silly ways, but obviously, like, um, it's not working out for her. Like, at the end of the sh- of the episode, he only got that phone call, and that's the only reason why he thinks that she actually was telling the truth and that she wasn't stealing his swim trunks. But like everything is very circumstantial evidence against her, right? And who's going to believe what what she's doing? But at least for that part, he has evidence or cooperation, whatever, that this other guy was trying to steal his swim trunks. And now he can believe her that she was actually telling the truth and trying to protect him, right? Although it makes no sense to him. But does it really need to make sense? Because obviously from these flashbacks, we see that he likes her. He liked her. He moved across the street from her. He likes her. But she back then had only eyes for Kim Tae-sung, which I find hilarious because now Kim Tae-sung is obviously interested in her and she has no interest in him, right? Because this is her 30-year-old self. So this like kind of like, um, kind of triangle, kind of past present triangle between the three of them is really interesting. Right. Um, and so, yeah, like, uh, this was a a funny episode and I'm very curious. Did he save her from the accident? Like, was she hit by a car? But in the past, in the original past, why was she out there walking in the rain that she would get hit by a car like that like what triggered like you know what i'm saying like why would she be out at night in, walking in the rain if not for the fact that she had chased sanje right to the pool but in that old original timeline she didn't chase him so what was she doing out in the street how did she get hit so i'm curious i'm curious if one uh what she was doing out if that was the original accident that he saved her from two is Taesung's like fight, you know, with the, um, you know, I guess about to get expelled afterwards, have any connection to her accident? Is he the one that saved her uh, from the accident? And so I'm kind of curious about that because remember, remember there was someone who saved her. Um, and was that Taesung or was that him? Like, like, was that uh, Sonje in the past? Because obviously he liked her. So maybe he followed her. Maybe he, maybe, I don't know. Like, I have so many questions. Did he save her? Um, he didn't obviously save her. She still got hit by the car, but maybe he carried her to the hospital or something. You know, like, something like that, you know? So I'm curious how it happened in the original past. And I'm hoping that, because we see that picture of the two of them in the future, I'm hoping then that they're friends or involved, you know, in, in the future from then on, because obviously maybe he has a change of heart for her, maybe, you know, realizing, you know, obviously he had a crush on her, but now realizing that she's not acting out against him like sabotaging his swim career or whatever maybe he can soften up and and get closer together so i don't know so i'm really i really want to see episode three actually to see what happens and um it was very interesting um i like this episode so um, i'm liking this series so far so thank you for everyone who recommended it and i will oh and if you like this reaction Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.